Well, lots of excitement on the Isle of Man at the moment because there's so much to do with transport going on here. And uh, this is going to time very nicely. Uh, Richard Davis is with us, the author of this great book, Douglas Corporation Buses, the centenary edition. Uh, Richard, a lot of research required on this one? Quite a lot of research, yes. I mean, a lot of the information I already had to hand, but uh, I've been speaking to uh, former Douglas Corporation employees for quite a number of years, and I've sort of gleaned little bits of information here and there. Uh, plus, of course, I've done a little bit more research and spoken to some of the guys who are still around at the moment and just had them read through this and say, well, yes, you've got that right, or did you know so-and-so, and, -so? and uh, yes, that's not quite right, you ought to have to alter that. So it's, um, I basically assembled the thing, but with an awful lot of help from other people, and particularly the photographs. Well, we're running some of those pictures now that, uh, I mean, it's, it's a wealth of pictures. How on earth does so many still exist? Yeah, and there's an awful lot on eBay, of course. Yes. But uh, quite a few of these have been given to me, or loaned, I should say, by Mike Lambden, whose father used to be the Isle of Man Road Services manager. And he had a, a vast archive of photographs from way back, and I've been allowed to use a, a lot of them in here, which makes it a whole different thing, really. It's uh, very nostalgic. The, the, the colour of those buses brings back memories, oh, fond yeah. memories for a lot of people. I would think so, yes. I mean, the, the Douglas Corporation buses were very distinctive because they were, as you say, yellow. And it was an unusual colour in transport fleets. There were only a handful, the likes of Newcastle and one or two others, uh, Bournemouth and so forth, that had yellow buses. Most of the others uh, throughout the UK tended to be either red or green, occasionally blue, but not many yellow. Um, it's going to appeal to all sorts of people, but it'd be great to have it on, on sale now. I mean, where can people get hold of it? Any bookshop really should have this. Um, certainly the local ones will all have it today. Uh, plus Tony's Tram Junction shop in Laxey, which is adjacent to the MER station. He uh, will have a, a pile of those later on today. Now, there's still a few of them around, and uh, some in the UK, aren't they? I mean, they've yes. travelled far and wide, haven't they? Oh, indeed, yes. Quite a few still knocking around. But there's a, a number of significant ones that didn't survive into preservation, unfortunately. Um, a great regret of mine that I didn't get into this sort of thing a little bit sooner because you could have picked them up in the sort of middle 70s for around about 50 pounds a piece. Still in running order. <laughs> 50 pounds? Yes. Now, <laughs> presumably they cost a bit more, do they? Or, or are they getting so rare you can't buy them? Almost? You basically can't get most of them now. Uh, the ones that have um, survived are in sort of private ownership or they're in museums and they're, they're not likely to be going anywhere soon. Um, but to be honest with you, it's not so much the cost of buying them or even restoring them, it's the time. That's the killer. Because my son and I restored one some years ago, not one of these, a different one. And believe it or not, it took us 13 years to do it. Wow. It was in a bad way. Yeah. And we had to make one good one out of two and it had been lying in a field for 10 years. But, you know, that's the problem. OK, well, <laughs> it's a book. It looks like it's a great read. And as you see, the pictures are wonderful. And uh, who knows, another 100 years I'll be doing another one. But are they on the, book, on the buses we've got out today? Well, if they survive, the drawback... You see, these things you could maintain with a decent set of spanners and a hammer. Uh, literally, you could. Nowadays, without a computer, you've absolutely had it. Uh, so the chances of some of the modern buses of today surviving for any length of time... Probably not very good, I wouldn't have thought. Okay, well, make the most of it and get that one. Thanks, Paul.